90.3 FM KEXP and streaming online all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is DJ Morgan. Down in the live room, joined by Jamila Woods. Welcome. Thank you. Love Thanks to- for having me. Of course. Great to have you. We'd love to hear a couple songs from you. Cool. Um, this first one is called Heaven. Show me, show me, show me how you do that trick The one that makes the winters warm The one where summer never comes Show me, show me, show me how you do it The one that makes the winters warm The one where summer never comes one's called LSD. me reminds me of oceans though I've never known one born by a cold one it's only a small one compared to the coast I prefer it to most I like water that don't burn my eyes when they open I won't let you criticize my city like my skin it's so pretty if you don't like it leave it alone you gotta love me like I love the land You want to love me better, love the lake. You got to love me like I love the lake. You want to love me better, love the lake. They didn't think we really had it like that. They didn't think we really had it like that. They didn't think we really had it like that. Matter of fact, we could swim in it. I know you want to. 
Get on the highway, highway, baby Look at it my way, my way, baby See, we can fly away, fly away, baby And we don't ever leave the ground No, no, no you made me even though you break me down the water always saves me see I can never leave you I'm everything you made me even though you break my heart the water's gonna save me Beautiful. Jamila Woods live on KEXP. The debut album is called Heaven, came out last July. And uh, this is your debut album. Before that, you did some vocals with uh, Chance the Rapper. And uh, how did you get to the point where you, you came out with that, your own solo album? Yeah, so I was living in Chicago and I had a, a band. And that was the first time I collaborated with Chance was in that band called m and And then... Um, after that, I, I think I just, you know, my bandmate moved away and I kept wanting to make music. And so it was kind of a good push into doing a solo project. And I got connected with a local label, Closed Sessions, and met a lot of producers. And it was really good growing experience. Yeah. Did you, did you sing before you were in a band, before you started collaborating with people? Yeah, I've been singing since I was really young. I grew up in my grandma's church choir. There was like a children's choir and I was in the Chicago children's choir and pretty much just been singing ever since I could sit next to a speaker and sing along. It's kind of um, something I always loved to do, but not mm -hmm. something I always thought of myself as being able to do professionally. So I think it was, um, yeah, it was really good to be in that band and also to come from a poetry background that got me more comfortable performing and gave me the confidence to feel like I could do a solo project. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the album incorporates a lot of familiar references. You you and I are very close in age, so it reminds me a lot of childhood as well. Like uh, that first song, Heaven, you worked in an interpolation of Cures Just Like Heaven. On another yeah. song, you work in the tune of Miss Mary Mack, which, of course, uh, was the hand games that we used to play, right, when we were kids. What is it about working in those sense memories in, into this album? Yeah, I think um, coming from writing poetry and always being taught um, poetry through hip hop, I think the tradition of sampling is just something that is a big part of my writing process. And I think of songs almost as physical spaces and what do I want to bring into that space with me to comfort me or remind me of something or connect to someone else who might remember that same thing. So Yeah, it's really cool to hear your own words on, on top of those things that are very, very familiar. Um, and your album feels very personal and even lonesome at times, like the, the lyric, I'm born here, uh, just because I'm born here doesn't mean I'm from here in Way Up. Uh, but at the same time, the music itself feels very celebratory. Is there an overarching theme to this album that, uh, that works those things in? Yeah, I think a lot of the album is about love and thinking about different kinds of love that I feel were, weren't spoken about, at least not when I was growing up. Um, and Toni Morrison always said, like, if the book that you wanted to read 
doesn't exist, you should write it. And so I feel like this is kind of like the album I wish I could have had to listen to when I was younger. And so it's a lot about affirming myself and hopefully other black girls, other people who listen Mm -hmm. um, for the things that you might feel insecure about, like being an introvert or being lonely sometimes or, you know, missing someone who's gone, all of those things um, and making them feel less abnormal and more, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. And you do that through that album, but uh, you also do that through your work, right? You do, uh, you're the Associate Artistic Director of Young Chicago Authors, which is a nonprofit organization. Can you talk about that nonprofit and what you do there? Yeah, so Young Chicago Authors works with uh, young people throughout the city of Chicago doing literacy programs, but really in a way that empowers young people to feel like poetry isn't something just in a textbook, but that everyone could be a poet and everyone has something to say. And we organize the largest youth poetry festival in the world, which is called Louder Than a Bomb. And yeah, it's a really beautiful organization that I actually went to my first open mic at that space. And so I feel cool to be able to work there now. So you like grew up in that organization, sort of? Sort of, yeah. yeah. It was kind of my window right before I graduated high school into this whole scene. Um, and then I kind of got to go back into it when I graduated. How young uh, do the do the kids, how young are the kids in, in that organization that take place in the Poetry Slam? They, it's a high school Poetry Slam, but every year there's like five middle schools and they are amazing. They'll be like 12 year olds, um, you know, kind of doing better than the high schoolers sometimes, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, did you have access to organizations like that when, when you were growing up? Or, and if you didn't, did, do you wish you could have? And what does it mean for, for youth to have access to those sorts of organizations? I was lucky, like I said, to find a few of those organizations, Gallery 37 and Young Chicago Authors, when I was like a junior and senior. Um, and I think those spaces are really important because they're, they're youth-centered in a way that a lot of schools aren't. A lot of schools are focusing on, you know, what you don't know and what you have to memorize and what kind of the lack as opposed to looking at a young person and thinking, you know, all of the wealth of experience and knowledge that you already have just based on your lived experience. So um, I think it's a really empowering uh, feeling to be going through those programs and realizing that, you know, you're already an expert of your own life and that's a very powerful thing to share. Yeah. And then uh, with the way the the environment is right now in America, we've been asking this of a lot of artists that have come through here. What, why does music matter? What do you think? Mm. To me, music has a very healing property, even though I, I started writing um, first in a way, like sharing my writing before I shared my music, I always went to music um, in in order to feel better, in order to feel heard or seen in a way. And growing up in the church again, I saw very early on like very tangible, practical, utilitarian um, things that music would get done. Music would move people, it would heal people, it would transition from one part of the service to the next. And I just think that um, music is a very powerful tool and yeah. Do you have any new music on the way? Any new albums? I'm re-releasing Heaven um, physically and digitally this summer, Mm -hmm. but also working on new music too. Any any clue as to when that'll be released? Your guess is as good as mine, (laughs) as soon as possible. Fair (laughs) enough. (laughs) Jamila Woods live on KXP. The album Heaven came out last July. We'd love to hear a couple more songs from you. For sure, yeah. We're going to play Way Up next. I want 
wanna go to my own private planet I've been dreaming on. Little moon in my head, I'll be moving on. Up and away, I'm way up, up and away. Just cause I'm born here, it don't mean I'm from here. I'm ready to run, I'm rocket to sun. I'm way up, I'm way up, just cause I'm born. Jamila Woods live on KEXP. She got one more for us. Yes, this next one, last one is called Black Girl Soldier. See, she's telepathic. Call it Black Girl Magic. Yeah, she scares the government. Deja vu a time. Missing by the hundreds Ain't nobody checking for us Ain't nobody checking for us The camera loves us, Oscar doesn't Ain't nobody checking for us They want us in the kitchen Kill our sons with lynchings We get loud about it Oh, now we're the bad ones Look at what they did to my sister Last century, last week They put her body in a jar and forget her Repeat. Look at what they did to my sister last century, last week. They make her hate her own skin, treat her like a sin. Oh, why? Why? But what they don't understand, see what they don't understand is, yeah, what they don't understand, yeah, what they don't understand is she's telepathic. Call it black girl magic. Yeah, she scares the government. Deja vu a tough man. And she, 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 she don't give up. Yeah, 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 she don't give up. She da, 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 don't give up. No, 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 she don't give up. Oh. Rosa was a freedom fighter and she taught us how to fight. Ella was a freedom fighter and she taught us how to fight. Audrey was a freedom fighter. Freedom fighter and she 
see what they don't understand is Yeah, what they don't understand See what they don't understand is She don't give up Jamila Woods live on KEXP, the new album, Heaven. Thank you so much for being here today and sharing your music with us. And uh, who do you have playing with you today? Uh, we've got Eric Hunter on the bass. Hello. And Matt Gold on guitar. Excellent. Thank you so much for uh, coming here today. And we'll look forward to the re-release of Heaven. I'm sure we'll be talking about that when that happens. And we look forward to new music from you as well. And hope you come back next time you're in town. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Of course. Keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters. 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered, kexp.org.